is going on everybody welcome to another video today ladies and gentlemen as you can see by the title of today's video first of all i'm back guys finally it's gonna be a good one today uh we are checking out the beautiful beast all right she's looking she's not looking that clean actually guys i'll, I'll show you uh when we go outside but she's quite dirty i've actually just driven her back uh, home from a job because um, I'm now back into season guys doing the school photography and she's she's dirty very dirty girl so Don't worry guys. I'm not gonna be cleaning it. I, actually some of you guys might want me to clean it uh, But no, I've not I haven't got the time to do that today uh, But I do have a little bit of time to shoot a video. So here we are anyway guys um, Yes, so I'm back with the car shooting the beautiful Mercedes um, but yes, anyway, without any more further ado, let's get straight onto the video. Um, today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about, is this car really worth £30,000? Because that's what I paid for the car, guys, uh, or paying for the car, because I have got it on finance. But hopefully by the end of this year, she'll be mine. All right, guys, because I'm looking, well, I'm hoping to pay it off early. So yeah, hopefully end of this year. She's gonna be mine. So yes, guys, is my Mercedes A180 really worth 30,000 pounds? Let's go find out. Okay, guys, so here you have it. I'm just gonna close the door, just two. So here we have it, guys. Here is the Mercedes A180 Edition Premium. Is it really worth the money? Well, what I'm gonna do today, guys, is I'm gonna take you on a little drive and uh, we're gonna just have a little look on the exterior and interior and basically see if it's really worth the money. We're gonna see if the quality um, of materials inside the car are really worth the money, or is it just cheap plastic? Let's go find out. Okay guys, so we are sitting inside the car now. Ignore that, that's my lunch. <laughs> Forgot to take it inside, so yeah. Anyway, that's my lunch, whatever. Um, anyway guys, so we are inside the car now, guys. So there's a few things I wanna talk about. Um, It'd be better if I actually had the camera mounted, but I'm gonna try my best while hold, holding the GoPro and showing you guys. Um, so anyway, first things first, let's get straight to the obvious, guys. We do have cheap plastic, but not only that, it's finished in a piano black. So you can see all the dust, guys, and this was only clean the other day. So you can see all the dust, and also the camera might not be able to pick it up, but from the naked eye, there are so many little scratches. And I I basically use loads and loads of different cleaning products, uh, ultra soft microfiber cloths to clean all of this, guys, to make sure it's the safest clean possible to basically not put the scratches in, but they still appear, guys, unfortunately. They are all down, they're just everywhere. <laughs> um, and not only down here, but up here as well. They're just everywhere you look. Um, I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick it up really, uh, but other than that guys I'm sorry, but I mean, it's not my fault. I don't know why I'm saying sorry But, <laughs> but all the piano black plastics Unfortunately, you, there's just so much dust. All right. It's okay because all the leather up here is pretty nice because you can't really tell that there's dust on it um, Even with the naked eye. I can't really see much dust. There's a couple of specks here and there, but that that that's it really guys, but if we move down, yeah, we've got all the piano black plastic, which, yeah, unfortunately, scratches and shows a lot of the uh, dust <laughs> everywhere. Um, so that's my first thing. Um, gorgeous big screens. Let's actually turn her on. And here is one thing that I think is very, very good of this car is definitely worth the money because it is a push to start car guys all right start your engine just by a push of a button um instead of none of that none of that turning your key nonsense guys you get hop in the car foot on the brake down there and then push the button to start and off you go uh but yes guys definite value for money these awesome screens they are massive um unfortunately i've, I've had to put screen protectors over them because don't want to scratch my lovely screens but with the screen protectors they do the screens look a little bit more reflective and that's because they are <laughs> they are so much more reflective so when the sun hits it unfortunately you are getting blinded but it's not too much of an issue guys um you're pretty much going to get that in any car with screens like this if you want to protect them you've got to put 
Scream detectors on them, unfortunately. Um, but no, guys, 100% definitely worth the extra money. So I've got the premium uh, spec on here. So with the lower spec cars, you get a smaller screen here. Um, you can you can get one with this size screen here, but a smaller screen, or you can get small screen and small screen, which just looks awful in my opinion. Um, but yeah, the screens, uh, 30,000 pounds, you get nice big screens that you also get uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and all, all that malarkey. So I'm all, I'm always plugging in my phone, hence why I've got my cable down here, and my phone, because I've always plugged it in, and you get your Apple CarPlay. And here you have it, guys, the Apple CarPlay. Literally, just plug your phone in. I wish this car had wireless Apple CarPlay, just through Bluetooth, but unfortunately, you have to plug the car in. I'm actually gonna turn off the music, because I don't know if you can hear that. There was a little bit of music playing just then. Um, touch screen as well i'm not gonna t oh screw it just for the video i was gonna say i'm not gonna touch it because i don't want to get fingerprints over it but no just to show you guys it is a touch screen screen <laughs> so that's pretty good but also you can control it from the oh is it gonna is it there we go from the touchpad down here which is pretty cool i always use that touchpad i don't know why with the mercedes newer models they've got rid of the touchpad because it's essential surely because it's more safe when you're driving using the touchpad then looking over and uh but i mean mercedes have got rid of it so yeah dangerous in my opinion but it is what it is guys um but yeah apple carplay works amazing uh always listen to my music through my apple carplay but i also have my ways on all the time because it tells you your speed limit uh what each road speed limit is and also it tells you if you're going over the speed limit which is yeah pretty handy it tells you where all the speed cameras are as well very very it just makes life so much easier having ways and your yeah, apple carplay always on in the car the only thing that i'm not happy about is look guys the apple carplay literally only takes up that much of the screen why is it not a full screen thing i don't know but yeah i'll have to uh, go to mercedes and i don't know question them about that it's not it's not on guys it's not on anyway guys now moving on to the steering wheel guys because this is one of my favorite things inside the car um and also you're always touching it guys because when you drive you've got to steer with the steering wheel guys <laughs> um so yes the feel of it is very lovely ignore how shiny the leather is it does need a good clean i need to scrub this steering wheel um but yeah that's that's i'll, I'll do that when i next clean the car anyway um but yes guys you got touch screen uh, like the little touch thing that controls all this uh let's oh god let's change the wrong thing now uh, that you can do all this you can change all loads and loads of bits and bobs i'm not gonna go into too much detail about that because i'm sure there's plenty of videos online which show you all your different bits and bobs but if you do want me to make a full video on configuration of your dashboard or your speedo or whatever the hell you want to call it I will do that for you. Just let me know in the comments below. Anyway, um, yeah, so this side controls this side and this side also controls this side. So with this screen, you actually have three-way compatibility. Well, is that the right word? Basically, you can swipe with your finger. That's one way to use it. You can use the touchpad, one way to use it, or you can use the steering wheel, which is another way to use it. Three-way, is that the right word, compatibility? I don't think that is. Basically, it's a three-way use, guys. And I know what you guys are thinking. Uh, dirty, Freddy, that sounds quite sexual. Well, think about it however you like, because I'm not being sexual. I'm just talking about how many ways you can use this screen, all right? Anyway, back to the video. <laughs> um, yes, so I absolutely love this steering wheel because you've got so many, you've actually got physical buttons compared to the newer cars which is just amazing all right you got your cruise control you got your volume you got answer your calls uh put down the calls uh you can speak to mercedes herself uh change ambient lighting to red she's gonna do it for me hopefully. i'm sorry can you say that again please it only works sometimes and the music is only works sometimes guys so that is a bit of a downer with a thirty thousand pound car the voice commands don't always work like how you want. You'd expect the car to just get straight onto whatever you're asking. It doesn't always work, which can be a bit of a faff, especially when you're on the motorway. You're trying to drive, you're trying to concentrate, but you want to ask the car to do something for you. It doesn't always work. Um, but let's, let's try one more thing before, you know, got to give it credit where we can. Oh, she just... Okay, why does this keep going up? Right, I'm, I've got a cold bottom at the moment, so I'm gonna ask her to put on my heated seats, all right? So, 
Uh, I've got a cold bottom. I am sorry to hear that. Get well soon. <laughs> no, no. All right, all right, all right. Turn on driver's side heated seats. Seat heating there for we the go. driver is on. There we go. So it does work, guys. You've just got a... You can't say that you've got a, a cold bottom. I, th I think Mercedes felt sorry for me, but, you know, if you felt sorry for me, Mercedes, you could have just turned it on straight away, but... All right, anyway, I've got music still playing. I don't know why that keeps happening. But anyway, I haven't really got a cold bottom. Uh, that was just for video purposes. Anyway, uh, but yes, guys, I absolutely love this steering wheel. It is very well, you know, very well built, very good quality, and it feels nice to the touch. So uh, I'm going to stop uh, seducing my car. <laughs> just, oh, yeah, <laughs> Mercedes. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so you can, you know, the controls are pretty easy to use, which is really, really good. Um, absolutely love these air vents. They look like something off of a, a, a jet or something. Looks really, really cool. Um, down here, uh, very good because they're physical buttons but they are quite cheap and nasty to the touch and if i can i don't know if it's going to pick up in the video but this does wiggle unfortunately and it does do it on the other side too it does unfortunately wiggle which for a thirty thousand pound car not you don't want that wiggle wiggle all right we want that nice sturdiness. But apart from that, I don't think there's too much that really wiggles in the car. Um, I mean, this door handle is quite cheap and nasty. And listen to that squeak. That is not good. For a 30,000 pound car, not good. Um, and the other day, I actually just, I've, I've always got this on auto. So whenever it gets dark, obviously lights come on. And when it's bright like this, when the sun's out, it obviously keeps the lights off. But I was just sort of, I don't know what I was doing the other day. I was just playing around with this and I realized what is that? All right, it turns all right. Quite nice. Ooh, lovely. But what is that wiggle, guys? Why is it wiggling like that? I don't know. And the thing is, it must be like that from factory because I never use that. It's always been on auto. It was only the other day. I was having a little play around with it and it's wobbly, guys. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely disgraceful from Mercedes. I mean, Mercedes are always a lot... You know, a lot of the time with their newer cars as well, they are starting to go on the cheap side of things. Um, if I was to hop into a BMW right now, I'm sure nothing would wiggle and everything would feel like this leather here. Nice and squidgy leather, lovely material. Uh, I quite like the Alcantara here that sort of goes with the the aluminium or what, whatever that is. Oh my God, guys, it's raining. It's raining. Okay, it looks like we might be going for a drive in the rain in a minute. Uh, but anyway, guys, yeah, door handle uh, feels nice, but it is very wib wibbly wobbly. Um, these are quite nice. All right, I'm not going to bring down the window because it will just smear all the, the wet and the yuck on it. But yes, they are quite nice. Um, I mean, I'd prefer if it was all metal, not plastic, but it is what it is, guys. But down here, I'm going to have to open the, the door just for this bit, and I'm going to get soaked. But this all yucky, scratchy yucky plastic and the sound system is good in this car but because this is plastic some of the songs i like to listen to have a bit of bass to it but it vibrates the plastic and oh my god it's proper hammering it down now it vibrates the plastic and basically just sounds shit so yes with my next car i'm going to make sure i have a good sound system but also i'm going to make sure if that if it does come with the plastic thing i'm going to make sure they get changed um because I don't like that vibration. It just it just sounds ho horrible. You try and listen to music and it just <sighs> sounds horrible. Um, but anyway, guys, apart from that, touchpad is lovely. Can't fault the touchpad. These buttons all made out of plastic, so yeah, it might be a little bit on the scratchy and cheap side. You've got these switches down here that are metal, but they are quite cheap and nasty. But it is what it is, guys. Um, you've got the flappy paddles at the back that are they've got quite a nice they're quite they're not too bad they're not too bad um apart from that guys i'd say overall a score out of 10 the interior is pro i'd probably give it about a seven because everything looks nice and everything is in its correct i'd say it's yeah very laid out it's laid out very very nicely but 
there's just some cheaper plastics and cheaper materials inside of this lovely premium, premium car. Um, but I can't fault it too much, guys. I love this car. Every time I hop into it, I get super, super happy and a little bit like a little boy on Christmas Day. But yes, um, there's actually, these are quite, the thing is, these are the things you're touching all the time. This is your gear selector, so drive, reverse, and then park. Um, and then you've got your indicator. You're always touching it, that does that. Woo, lovely. Um, but I do have to say, they're made out of plastic and they are a little bit on the cheap side. That, yeah, I, I have to fault that, unfortunately, because you're always using these. You're indicating, you're putting it in drive, putting it in reverse. Yeah, they are a little bit on the cheap side, unfortunately, I do have to say. But like I said earlier, Mercedes are always using cheap and nasty stuff. Um, when we go for a drive in a minute, I'm going to set up the camera, go for a little drive, just to, just to, so you guys can hear the little rattles and um, what basically experience what I experience on a day-to-day -day basis in you know being inside the car, driving the car. So we'll get onto that in a minute. But while it's it's stopped raining now so i'm going to quickly hop outside and just show you some of the the things you wouldn't really expect on a car as expensive as this let's go check it out okay guys so being outside the car now you can sell here you can see there uh try and find it all you can see there and on the exhaust tips as well they're all piano black plastic and obviously they scratch very very easily so i'm literally spend like all my time once i've cleaned the car polishing it out and making it look as good as new um as you can see guys the wheels are quite dirty uh but that's not a fault that's just me driving down country lanes and on the motorway and stuff like look at all that yuck in there absolutely disgusting um so yes very horrible materials to put on the outside of the car which is going to get scratched guys because you've got dirt on the outside and it's going to get scratched with the inside it's just dust more than anything outside yeah that, it's just not great it's not great is it guys um but the the main thing for me there's not too many things on the exterior that really make it look cheap and nasty for a thirty thousand pound car but this is one of them guys this and this unfortunately fake exhaust guys they are fake exhaust tips the actual exhaust i wonder if i can get under it is just under there i hope that you guys can see yeah just there absolutely diabolical behavior from mercedes themselves but apart from that apart from the black plastics and the fake exhaust tips and everyone has been slating me in the comments recently uh because apparently this car isn't a beast even though i always say it's a beast you want to go in my oreo i'll let him in in a minute before we head out but um because it's raining but everyone keeps saying because i've got an a180 it's not a proper mercedes apparently these well i say apparently no the the a180 does in fact have a renault clio engine in it um but obviously this is got a turbo so i don't know if it's a little bit faster than a renault clio but all i'm going to say is i don't give a damn this car is fast and that's all i care about guys as long as it's fast don't care what engines put in it you can put a freaking tractor engine it in it if you want as long as it's fast i don't care i know tractors aren't fast but it was just an example <laughs> but i'll make sure guys with my next car I'm, i'll make sure that i have a proper mercedes engine inside of the mercedes because i'm definitely getting a mercedes for my next car and there you have it guys that is pretty much it with the quality of this car um like i say the exterior is pretty nice um just a few bits and bobs that you'd expect like come on like real exhaust you'd expect real exhausts uh to be on show anyway it does have a real exhaust it's just tucked underneath the car which is stupid in my opinion but it is what it is um but yeah the interior is just a little bit on the low quality side um but apart from that it's fine uh, i would show you the back but it's pretty much the same as the front uh you have some cheaper materials scratchy plastics on the doors and um but that, no, that's it. That's it, really, guys. I mean, I love this car. I can't fault it. Well, I can fault it because I've just fought with loads of stuff. But I love this car. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, it might be cheap and nasty, um, some parts and bits and bobs of it. But I can put up with it, guys. I can put up with it. Anyway, I'm going to mount the camera now. We're going to go for a little drive. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, guys. So we are 
on the road now, baby. <laughs> uh, just pulling out of my road now, um, and I do have some things in my boot. So if you do hear some odd rattling, it might be the things in my boot. It might not actually be the car itself, but I will point out some of the things um, that the car does do. Um, I mean, this car is coming up two and a half years, something like that. Um, so it's gonna have some little rattles and stuff, but we come down this road. This is a, and then we're gonna do a, a, a Yui at the roundabout. Um, I've just realized that my GoPro is running low. Uh, thank you for waiting. Um, what was I gonna say? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, down here is smoother roads. So if we just listen, there's a little bit of a vibration going on around here. I've got my, I've got some bits and bobs in my glove box, um, but I don't know if that could make any vibration noise. It's more just, I've got some, some of these in there, some air fresheners, so they definitely won't be making weird noises. Uh, we're gonna do a Yui at the roundabout here, and then come back, because down the end of this, this road, on the other side, uh, the road's a little bit more bumpy, so you can really hear it a little bit more. Um, but it's not too bad. I mean, two and a bit years old, this car. It's not too bad. It's This car's now got 28,000 miles on it. Uh, so she's got, she's definitely getting on a bit now. 28,000 miles, Jesus Christ. Remember when I picked up this car, the day I got it, 12 miles on this bad gal. And now she's getting old, it's getting old. Um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to getting my next car though, guys. I, I am very, very excited. I can't wait for that day to pick up another new car. Um, I don't think it's gonna be brand spanking new, like this car, fresh out the factory, um, but I'm looking to get a newer car with lower mileage for my next car. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, guys. I can't wait. You guys are gonna be like, oh my God, with my next car. Um, but like I said, I've got to pay this car off first, and then we'll think about saving a little bit of money and then getting my next one um, anyway so you can see where it's going to change here so this is the different style of road which is a little bit more bumpy and if you listen there's a few more rattles going on i mean it's not terrible is it guys it's not terrible i think with any car you're gonna have its little rattles and stuff like every car will have its little rattles and problems but I, I have had this question quite a few times of Freddie with your car do you not get rattles of course I do I'm always bloody getting rattles that's why I put blast the music to just try and block out the fact that it rattles a bit um, my GoPro is running low by the way guys I can't remember if I've already said that so I'm just gonna do a quick drive go up here so we're not going on any fast roads because it's actually the car actually is better on faster roads, I do have to say. Um, but I just want you guys to listen, you know, town, normal town driving. You can probably hear a few things banging in the back. That is just some bits in my boot that I do need to take out. I'll do that after the video. But, I mean, this car has got sports suspension as well. So, it's gonna be a little bit firmer on the bumps, of course. Um, let's actually put it in, that is nice. What's that, GLA 45? It's just passed us, I think. Oh no, that's the 35, because it's only got the twin exhausts. It doesn't have the quad exhausts. Even though Mercedes make the quad exhausts, but they're fake. The real exhausts are tucked just behind the, the exhaust tips. Mercedes, what are you doing? All this fakery, like, is what it is though. But. <laughs> Just bastards. How can they do that? I mean, with the GLA, the GLA 45, I think that just was, you're probably talking about 70 grand, 80 grand. I don't know, I might be wrong, but brand new, you're probably looking at that sort of money. We take a right here, guys. Um, and yeah, can't even give us real exhausts. I mean, what, what did I expect, guys? Like, what the hell do I expect? Because paid 30 grand for this car and I get fake exhaust tips completely it's not even like the exhaust is tucked behind them nope just tucked underneath the car where nobody's ever gonna be able to see it uh, but one thing I do have to say I've got the car in sport 
right now. So engine sport, steering sport, suspend, like suspension. Did I just say that? No, engine sport, steering sport, suspension sport. Um, oh, you're not turning, are you? Because you don't have your indicator on. Lovely. So we've got a bump here. Hang on. Let me slow it down a bit. Okay, it didn't do it over that bump. Maybe that's just a bit of a smoother bump. God, it is raining. Oh my goodness. Um, it's a bunch of chavs in the corner. All right. But that guy wasn't a chav, it was just too chavvy. Anyway, I'm judging people too much. <laughs> Let's go back to the video. Um, but yeah, all suspension, uh, all suspension. Everything's in sport, sorry. Um, so everything's a lot stiffer. Um, even with the normal standard sport suspension. So you're gonna hear a few more bumps and stuff. But I do have to say, with a 30 grand car, I'm so glad I have sports mode on this car because it just grips. I don't know what it is, all this technology built into these newer cars, it just grips the road so much better. Oh dear, now we're stuck behind pikeys. Okay, I'm gonna get slowed in the comment section for that because pikeys, some are really lovely. You know, I've had a few pikeys round where I live. Um, and if you, you know, slow down for them when they're riding the horses or let them go, they're really thankful, like, thank you so much. But then you just get some people that just, I don't know, they're just a bit aggressive. Oh, there's a Mercedes, a oh my God, he nearly, I, I don't think that you could see that in the camera then because it's over there. But there's a Mercedes A35 in front of us. He's long gone now, he just zoomed right past that. Uh, I don't know what's going on. These uh, these guys are having a go at this van driver. Uh, they're shouting at him. I don't know if you could hear that. <laughs> Make some good content, but they're shouting at this green van driver. Oh god, I don't really want to get. I don't really want to get behind these kids because they're a bunch of kids. I'm going to turn around just for the safety of my car um, because I don't want them to throw something. I'll probably blur these kids out because I don't want, I don't want uh, them to come find me and absolutely trash my car. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do a bit of an elite, this is a little bit illegal guys, but we have to do it because they are very, I'll tell you what, some of the, uh, the gypsies, is that more polite? Gypsy, not pikey, G gypsy, is that better? Um, but they are quite aggressive where I live. They're, like I say, there's some that are lovely and then there's some that just want to rip your fucking throat out. So, and you know what? They can rip my throat out all they want. Just don't touch my baby girl of a car. All right, I love this car too much. So we're gonna go back this way and I'm gonna end the video while we're driving, guys. Cause I always, I find that more fun. Oh, freaking wipes have smeared something all over my windscreen. Anyway, sorry, this guy behind me is probably thinking, why are you going so slow for it? because I'm stuck on a bike, all right? I, I want to give him enough room. Uh, as you go down there, ah, oh, legend. Thanks, my friend. Um, but yeah, I always find it more fun to end the video when I'm driving. Um, I'm hoping my camera hasn't died on me. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so my overall thought about the car, like to conclude this video, let's say, is it really worth, is this car really and I'm gonna be vital here guys I'm gonna be a bit mean all right and you can already probably tell with what I'm gonna say is this car really worth what it says on the tin guys all right Mercedes a 180 it's got a turbo it's a 1.3 turbo it's bloody quick um, for a 1.3 turbo uh, it's got all the technology built into it all right we've got reversing camera we've got 360 sensors we've got the whole hog guys all right we've got all out with this car the only thing it doesn't have because i don't have the premium plus version of this uh the premium plus would have a panoramic roof panoramic roof i think this the premium you're probably looking at about just under forty thousand pounds i think it was or maybe with the newer car you're probably looking at over forty thousand pounds but this car when i bought it thirty thousand pounds is it worth it, guys? Is it really freaking worth it? Um, yes. <laughs> um, I'm going to say yes because... All right, guys, I know I tricked you there. You, you thought I was going to say no. Yes, I actually think it is worth it. And this is not me being biased at all because I like being honest on this channel. 
I think it's worth it because you have all the technology and the safety systems built into it. You've got brake assist, you've got lane keeping assist. Oh my God, it's, it's raining. Um, you've got all these different assists on this car that make it a lot safer to drive. Um, the throttle response is absolutely insane. Oh my God, this is raining hard. The throttle res response on this car is absolutely insane. For such a small little car, like this, I say small little car, it's, it's quite a big little hatchback, this car. Um, these four people walking in the rain. <laughs> um, yeah, so you've got all these different safety systems. You've got the big screens, you've got sports mode, um, you've got ambient lighting that just really brings the car to life at night, all right, guys? Um, the car sounds lovely when you've got your foot, put your foot down a bit as well. Um, very spacious. Um, one thing that I would have loved with this car is the blind spot assist with the little lights on the mirrors. Um, just to warn you that there's obviously cars on your, on your blind spot, in your blind spot. Apart from that, wipers work amazing. They're very expensive, these wipers from Mercedes, but I mean, wipers are wipers, you know, they're gonna work. So that's not really, yes, it comes with the car, but I've replaced my wipers so many times. Just from it, be, the winter weather and the wipers are not great, but the, they wipe pretty well. I mean, I do, I'm gonna need some new wipers soon, but I don't even know why I mentioned the wipers. I can't lie to you, thank you very much. Um, anyway, yeah, very spacious very luxurious for a small hatchback by the way this is the it's one of the highest specs but of the lower end of car if that makes sense guys so this is the cheapest car you can buy from mercedes um, especially because it's the a180 but it's the premium specs so it's a little bit it's quite specced up it's one from the top spec basically you get the premium and then the premium plus um i don't know where to end the video guys actually i'm just gonna bring it down here i'm sure i've done this last time let's go down the end down the end of the road um what was i gonna say um yeah so it's, it's a very well spec car but it's a very basically for such a low-end car of, from mercedes it's actually very very nice and luxurious like i say you get a few little bumps and like rattles go on in the car but it, it, you're gonna get that with any car all right it doesn't matter what car you can buy a freaking Five hundred thousand pound Ferrari, you're gonna get the little rattles and stuff. It, it just is what it is, guys. Um, but yeah, overall, it's definitely worth the money, guys. Um, I want to see what you guys think of. Oh, okay, you're waiting for me. Thank you. I mean, listen to that engine, guys. Thank you. Um, oh, sorry, car will go slow because this car's very low. That is a problem with this car, guys. It is a very low car um, to the ground. So, yeah, you've got over these speed bumps, you've got to go quite slow. Um, but guys, yeah, I do have to say, this car is absolutely phenomenal. You've got all the assists, like I say, and it's just a very comfortable, these seats are very comfortable, it's just a very comfortable car, all right? So if you're looking for something that you don't, know, the thing is, you don't have to buy one of these brand new. You can buy, I mean, my car is worth about 20,000 pounds right now. Uh, maybe just a little bit more. Um, but, oh, you're really gonna follow me, are you? Absolutely diabolical behavior. What are you doing? You're coming down here too, are you? Oh, uh, you know what? Why is it always, I I'll, I'll come, I'll come back. I'm sorry. I'll get out your way. I'll, I'll get out your way. I'll come back. I'll go this way. Thank you for reversing, you utter moron. But anyway, guys, there you go. Let's thank them. Um, there we go. Uh, I can't really park up here because I think this is somebody's drive. <laughs> but whatever. Let's turn around now, guys. Why do I do this to myself? I should have just ended the video ages ago. Um, oh, God. Visibility on this car isn't too bad either. Look. I'm going up onto the gravel now. <laughs> just going to ruin the car. Of course that car wanted to come right where I was. God's sake. It literally is right where I was. Um, but yeah, overall, guys, I just want to say this car is amazing. All right, And that's not me being biased. For a 30 grand car, you can spend 30 grand elsewhere on another car and not get the luxurious side of things. You can spend 30 grand on a BMW 1 Series, let's say, or however much they are. Um, and it just doesn't feel as nice 
Um, I've been in a one BMW 1 Series, I've been in a BMW 2 Series, I've been in an Audi A1, I've been in an Audi A3. Um, they're just not as nice as this car, unfortunately. Um, so if, you look, if you're looking for style and a bit of speed and just luxurious, just a nice comfy car, I'd say this car, guys, let's not be being biased. Um, it's just the truth. All right, guys, this car is absolutely lovely. Um, and I just like all the, all the, I don't know, all the interior bits and bobs, like the, I think this is aluminum. How the frick do you say that word? Alumin, aluminium. I don't know. <laughs> aluminium. But it's just nice materials. Yes, you get some scratchy plastics, but, Oh, edging out a bit. Yeah, you get the uh, the scratchy plastics. What the? What was she doing? <laughs> what was that? What did? Oh, I really hope the camera just caught that. I don't know what that woman's doing, but I might as well just keep driving. I don't really want to stop outside the house because it's just boring. Let's just keep going. Um, yes, guys, I don't want to keep boring you though. Um, I'm just going to conclude it with yes, guys, you should buy this car if you're in the market. You want to spend thirty thousand pounds buy this car and if you want to get a second hand one you're looking at like i say about twenty thousand pounds so actually it's even better guys um this car is only two years old two and a bit years old so if you're looking for a car that's only a couple of years old it's been looked after that's probably why i would value this car a little bit more than most because sometimes people buy a classes and just don't look after them like i'm always cleaning this car i'm always looking after it i don't rev it like a nutter let's actually put it into comfort mode again it's raining again are you gonna wipe wipers or are you just gonna come on there we go um yeah sometimes with the automated wipers it needs to rain like this for them to work but it is what it is uh, let's go down this road um, and then i'll end the video down here anyway guys so yes to conclude where did i come from down there <laughs> Uh, yeah, so to conclude, 100%, it's totally worth the money. Just get one, guys. All right, if you've got, if you're in the market and you want one, fucking get it, mate. Fucking get it. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video now because I'm just waffling. I just waffle so much. Like, what is actually wrong with me? And it's raining, pissing down my rain. Lovely. Anyway, guys, uh, if you did enjoy today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want me to do more videos like this, um, or just more videos on the car. Don't be hesitant, guys. Just put down in the comment section below what you want me to do with this car, and I'll try and make it happen. All right, guys, I'll try and make it happen. Anyway, guys, without more further ado, I'm gonna end the video here. So, please subscribe if you're new to my channel. If you're not new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed, please do that. Peace. Whatever. See you guys all later, dude. <laughs> uh, I do love driving in the rain, guys. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it before in a video. I'm sure I have when I've mentioned, like, yeah, you know, I've done a few driving in the rain videos. So, but yeah, I love it. Just cruising, cruise control set to 30. It's pissing down the rain. Wipers going like absolute mental. Look, whoa, mental wipers. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I love it, guys. I absolutely love it.